Aquarius, are you ready? I almost put my neck out. You see how much I, ugh. Aquarius, this is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is all about you. Yes, Aquarius, sun, moon, rising sign, Mars, Me Venus, Mercury sign. Wherever Aquarius energy influences or affects your natal chart, you can apply these energies for the next seven to 10 days from whenever you watch this video. Remember, I always do a full in-depth energy reading with Oracle cards here, and then there's an extension. If you want to, you can find that link in the description box and the comment section below. Easy to get to with a full tarot card spread, like full as in sometimes I use the whole deck, and uh, romance predictions as well. Also, Look for the romantic tarot. That will give you some insight into the next couple of weeks. Aquarius, 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 sun, moon, rising, Aquarius, anywhere, Aquarius, energy. Aquarius, what are you dealing with? What's coming toward you? Honestly, I feel like this is, ooh, co-create with spirit. I feel like you feel like you've lost your voice somehow. So not, there's a lot that's popping off and popping over, but it's all in reverse. This is a sense of, but this is your crowning energy, seven plus eight, eight. This is almost like a time to sort of detach and disconnect. And it makes sense. It's not like you're detaching or disconnecting from spirit, but it's almost like at this point, for some reason, you feel like you're not being heard. Like you can't shout loud enough or you can't screech loud enough. For some reason, you're not being heard. And maybe it's not even being heard by the public. It's it's almost like you feel like you're not being heard by spirit. Like as if there's this, this is like a one-way conversation. There's a, maybe a little bit of a loss of hope, a little bit of loss of faith. Or going at your own and deciding that spirit sometimes when this card comes out in a crowning position especially... Is almost like this energy of spirit saying, Aquarius, take me where you want to go. You're in the lead. I'm going to put you at the wheel. It's not my time to be at the wheel. So it's really up to you with this in your crowning position, Aquarius. You can decide to take the wheel and try to drive this craziness through Mercury retrograde, or you can just hands off the wheel, stop the car, park the car, <laughs> like get out of the car and just take a little bit of a relaxation. If you're screaming loud and you're doing all that you can do and you're doing the best that you can do, but people still aren't listening, then maybe it's time to either take a break or just take it easy on yourself and stop looking for that kind of response or reaction. This is a quiet time for you is what I'm saying. And it's supposed to be a quiet time. It's almost dictated that by spirit, that this is like a slowing down period. You've had a great few weeks. You've had a lot of energies. You've had a lot of supercharged energies, especially through your season. It makes sense that this would be sort of a break period, like a little bit of a respite or a lag here. But look at, this is like sort of stuck in the in-between. Honestly, with these two cards together, it feels like you're stuck in limbo. You have this energy, maybe scorpionic energy, Almost like you you feel like, okay, why isn't the regeneration happening? Like, why, are my, why am I stuck in this cocoon? This is almost like the cocoon phase. That's what it's telling me. I'm stuck in this cocoon phase. But there's that mentality there. Are you stuck in it? Or are you just, you have to go through this right now? It is a limbo stage. And it is a feeling of out of control, being stuck in limbo. This feeling of being unbalanced or out, off kilter somehow. Maybe even receiving messages or believing things that are not true. Um, just for the sake of drama to feel alive. This could be the type of energy that may very well threaten to break you during a Mercury retrograde. You don't want to push too hard or go like, like, like look looking for somehow to feel because this is a really like numbing energy and it's like I know that people stereotype you all the time as cold-hearted it's bull but I can't help but think maybe this is like a conscious effort for you to intentionally be numb and for me if it is conscious and there's intent behind it then that's actually cool because then clearly you're on the on the spectrum of um of Aquarius Aquarius's that are okay with this limbo period, are sort of comfortable with this sort of detachment from others right now. I feel like you had a really heavy season of your own. 
that you took on a lot of responsibility and there were a lot of changes that happened in your life. I'm all in for this kind of energy for you guys right now. Like I'm all in for you to have a couple weeks off and to chill. Um, but this is the kind of energy that's a little bit concerning to me. So believe in yourself. You guys usually have no problem believing in yourself, but this is suggesting a compromised sense of self-awareness and a compromised sense of self, um, self-worth, um, a sense of almost giving up or not wanting to put in any more effort or being tempted to sort of like step back from efforts because it's almost like, listen, I planted seeds and I want to see where those seeds go. I don't want to plant any more seeds right now. This is not planting season for me. Um, and maybe a little bit, it has to do with a disappointment in someone or something that hasn't come through for you. Open to infinite possibilities is also in reverse. And I swear my deck was not in reverse. Um, this is being shut down. This is being cut off. This is feeling limited. This is feeling stunted. And this is feeling ignored. This is your energy in and of itself. This sort of star energy, a, a shine. But it's almost like there's a rust on the shine. Like this isn't happening quick enough and nothing is going to speed up during retrograde. So if this mindset stays with you, there could be this energy of you just feeling tempted to like give up and get out of this situation. Let it shine. No one's listening. You feel like you're not being listened to. You feel like you're talking underwater and you're being muted somehow. Maybe this is an energy of intent. Maybe somebody is purposely trying to like literally ignore you. It's almost like some there's like... It's, it's feeling like you're being intentionally ignored, feeling like, like somebody that may be very important to you. Maybe you don't even want to admit how important they are to you or how important this opportunity was to you. But there is this feeling of feeling like you have been muted and no matter how loud you scream, nobody is listening or at the very least, nobody is obeying. Um, and time, um, take time out. Sort of an out of control, chaotic energy when this card comes out uh, upside down is like over defensive, like ripping and tearing at everybody um, and feeling like you have to defend yourself or being on the defensive, to protect yourself. Like nobody else is there for you. Nobody else is going to do it for you. This is a feeling of sort of isolation and uber defensiveness based on the fact that you feel like you've been abandoned or let go up, like let go, left to your own devices. You don't like it. You don't like the feeling of not being paid attention to, not being listened to, feeling like somebody is ignoring you. I don't know if this is a particular somebody or this is just the energy that's surrounding you this week, but it's frustration. If I had to put one word on what you're feeling and summarize it, it would be frustration. Um, there is always enough. It's also come out um, upside down, which means it's scant. There's like, there's not enough coming in. There's not enough, maybe money coming in. There's not enough attention coming in. Um, there's this energy of maybe not even being able to get enough of something or somebody, this energy of emptying quickly. Like there's a hole in your bucket and you just can't fill it. And it's like, you're leaking all over the place. This could have been by giving too much of yourself during your season. Um, and like I said, this could be the perfect time for you to patch up and repair and just sort of lay low and go limbo for a while. But there's this ferocity that is your central energy that says, no, I don't want to rest. I want to be heard. Now, going into a retrograde, there does come this risk of being heard, but misinterpreted. And that could be the energy coming through too. Have people been misinterpreting your words? Have they been misinterpreting your actions? Have they been misquoting you, intentionally misquoting you? There's sort of that, that sort of implication too. But I will say this, if you push and continue to scream and yell or try to get that attention or keep trying to just push and push your ideas out, there's more of a chance of them being misinterpreted or misquoted. Um, reclaim your power and energy of, of, um, time to really just focus on you. And this is why I said taking time out is the perfect thing for you to do, especially for the next seven days. Allow yourself to just sort of like disconnect and go into limbo. 
one of those signs. I feel like you're one of those signs. Well, who was this? There was this, another energy coming through. Where if I could tell you, I feel like Leo got similar energy. If I could tell you, if I could literally tell all Aquarius is to sort of just take a seven day break and just go out into the wilderness somewhere and just be like Walt Whitman style, like leaves of grass, leaves of grass, um, blades of grass, leaves of grass, right? Um, and escape and be isolated. This would kind of be like, this is a really weird twist, isn't it? Because this would, would be what I recommend. And it's almost like somehow what you want, but you're too pissed and you're too angry to actually give up. So I do feel like this is almost like you railing against a specific system or person that you feel has not been giving you your, your due diligence. Um, you see clearly now, mm, this is your energy appearing in your reading. So you're on top of this. This is also the energy of seven, something that you're creating. You want to be noticed. You're ready. And it's almost like you, it's, see, it's like you have spotted those eyes that are staring back at you. They, this, mother, this mother doesn't think you can see in the dark, but you can see in the dark. You can see very clearly and you know what's happening. And this is sort of that energy of embrace the in-between. You, this isn't like embracing in between. You're refusing to embrace the in between. You feel out of balance and uncomfortable right now. And you know, do, gosh darn well, that you deserve better than this. And you're not really understanding why you're not getting it. And I feel like you think you've spotted the reason. Because this owl is wise and discerning and can see in the dark. Grounding your energy is claim your independence, which is this sort of, sort of you will land on your feet, number one. This is the energy of, you will bounce back from this. It will not be anything permanent. So, um, but it's also like um, staking your claim to what you deserve, owning what you deserve. Like cats are not good at being ignored. Like they're like on off again, right? It's almost like this energy of, if, if I say I don't want you looking at me, don't look at me. Now look at me. You know, that, <laughs> that kind of energy expect those feelings this week expect that on offness that not really even being completely in control of it yourself i don't think you're doing it maliciously to people i just feel like there's this sort of divide in you this week of not knowing whether you want a lot of attention or you do want a lot of attention but you only want it from a specific person and these specific people or this specific system isn't giving you what you want and it's not good enough to get it from somewhere else because you want what you want and that's it. There's this kind of sense of sort of maybe inflated sense of self or not even sense of self-worth, but sort of inflated sense of deserving that may get you into trouble and make you push boundaries that you don't even care. Like, I think you're willing to take the risk. Uh, trust in divine detours, really interesting, changes quick changes. This could also be like thinking on your feet and improvising. Um, energy of seven, once again, being creative, being in the moment and trusting wherever the, wherever the wind blows or wherever it takes you. Um, but this is, I feel like you yourself are the divine detour. And maybe that's it, isn't it? You're playing cat and mouse with somebody. It could be you're leaving intentionally leaving them in limbo because maybe you don't like the way that they've treated you. You don't like the offer that they put on the table. Um, you really felt like they, you deserved more from them. There's sort of this energy of they're not noticing me the way I want them to notice me, but I still want them to notice me. So they better notice me, but they better notice me my way. Oh, they're not noticing my way. Then I'm not going to notice them. There's this kind of like back and forth play um, this week. As long as you keep it playful, this could be cool. This is an energy of transcending yourself and waking up to a new reality. Maybe even trying to shake other people awake and, and for like awareness to be overtaking you this week. It's interesting to get this card as part of your grounding energy. And yet your, your crowning energy is almost like disconnect and limbo. Whew. Man, hold on. I'm going to turn the camera around. So this 
Listen, this reading came out very quickly and very concise. It's like you knew exactly what to say. And so for this, for this to come out, remember how I said this is like your cocoon phase? This is sort of like that phase of you, but you feel like you're being trapped in the cocoon. It's like you can't break out of the cocoon fast enough. There's not enough space. There's not enough time. To me, what this grounding energy says is it's almost over. You are literally feeling that natural urge to pop and burst out of the cocoon. So the crampedness that you feel is wings that are fully developed that are ready to fly. Now, this is why you have that sort of agitated feeling. You are really literally about to take off. Now, where are you going? I'm not sure the plot is, the plot is, uh, the course is plotted yet. At the same time, you're just ready to be this new you. And you want to be noticed. You know these wings are beautiful. You want to be seen. You want to do this with, with fanfare. Like, that's what you want. But it's like, are the right eyes on you? Is somebody paying attention? It's like, oh, you wanted me to be different. Well, now I'm different. How come you're not noticing that I'm different? You were supposed to react right away to my being different, to my changing. Why haven't you caught up with me? Why aren't you paying attention? I've done all of this work and I am here as a freaking butterfly now. I'm about to pop out. It's almost like, why didn't you notice me in my cocoon? Did you stop paying attention to me? I thought these changes were important to you. And like I said, whether you're, you're striving against a system or an actual person itself, there is, this, there is this frustration that they have sort of let you hang in limbo and you've lost, it's like now they're bored, with, what, now you're bored with me? You know why I went into this cocoon to awaken and become a better part of myself. You can't be bored with me now. You can't have forgotten about me now. You better still be like asking me for interviews and listening to me, but it's not. For some reason, you've been muted. You are so ready to burst out of this cocoon, if only to flap those new beautiful wings right in the face of the person who is not giving you attention. <laughs> I, I, that's just what I feel. It's what I feel coming out. Let's go over to the tarot and let's flesh this out and see what the outcome is, what you're up against, and like I said, what the future holds. Let's, let's go do it. Let's do it. I'll see you guys over there. Remember that includes your romantic as well. I'll see you guys over there.